All right, in this video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the elements to be placed on our cover sheet. So on our cover sheet, the way we want to lay it out, the first thing that we'll do is let's drag in our sheet list. So if we drag in our sheet list, and I'm going to place it right over here on the left side, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and you can see I can just use my grips. And I'm just going to drag this out. You see how I can drag it off far enough that I can read the entire sheet name here. And now we have that sheet name, this drawing list right here on our sheet. The next thing that I want to do is I want to focus on images. And how do we place images? Where do we get the images that we might want to put just to have a map on our cover sheet like you'll typically see on an architectural set of plans. So we're going to actually use Google Earth for this. I'm going to bring up my Google Earth here and show you some reasons how to use Google Earth for this purpose as well as why I prefer to use Google Earth for creating ourselves, giving ourselves a map to put on the, on the cover sheet. So here in Google Earth, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to type in the address for our site. So I know I have 3110-Pleasant-Valley-Road. And we'll just put this in for York. And let's just go ahead and hit search first. Now Google Earth is just going to zoom in and go ahead and find this particular location. And now that we have that address typed in here, if I come over here to file, and I just click save, you'll see save image. And right now I can just go ahead and save myself a JPEG decent resolution image to put on the cover sheet for our project. However, before we do that, I want to show you a couple quick things that I think are important from an architectural standpoint. If I just come over here to view and come down to historic imagery, if I select this, Google Earth is going to add a scroll bar here in the top left hand corner of our screen that actually relates to this site. And I think this is a pretty interesting tool. Sometimes you'll get a project uh, and you're just curious about the surrounding area and the context and how it's developed over time and what development uh, may have taken place and in what chronological order prior to the development that your project is going to add to the context. But if I use this scroll bar now, I can actually scroll back from today's date until about somewhere around 1992. So I'm just going to use this scroll bar and if I come back here, you'll see the site. This is about 2008. Here we are roughly 2000. 2003, you can see a bit, little bit less development. And you can see back in about 99, there were only two baseball fields across from this site. And all the way back to 92. So those ball fields have been there quite a while. But you'll see the development over here that occurred within that time frame. So let's go back forward again from 92 to 99. You can see that the YTI complex was actually constructed in that time frame, so it begins to show up on that aerial. And you can see the development, particularly in this area, when it occurred. I prefer to use Google Earth for that reason. It allows me to kind of take a snapshot as far back as 20 years ago um, of the particular site context that we that we wanted to take a look at. 
to me, that's one of the most beneficial reasons from an architectural standpoint why I recommend Google Earth for developing your sitemap images for the cover sheet. So now that I have what I'm looking for, if I click over here, I can actually use my wheel and zoom in however far or away. And you can see you can use your pan depending on what what roads I may be trying to capture on this cover map. But then we'll just come back up here to file, save, save image. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that out on my desktop because I know that I'm going to be bringing it in. I'm just going to call this Acme sitemap. And I'm just going to save that on my desktop. Now we have an image for use back in Revit. So let's go back to Revit now. And in here, back to our cover sheet, we want to go ahead and insert that image. So we just come up to an insert tab and we're going to click on image here and you just go ahead and browse out to wherever you've stored your sitemap. I just placed mine on the desktop and we're going to click open here. And now you see we can just place this image down here in the right hand corner. And I can use my grips to just begin to change the scale of the JPEG here. However large or small, I may want that to appear over here. You can continue to modify it. If there are particular dimensions that I'd like this roster image to appear at, I can go ahead and modify it over here. And so it's not that difficult to just begin to lay out this cover sheet. And I'm going to save this space up here for our for our project title as well as a future rendering that we'll do of this project. But just like that, we're able to bring in an image that represents the con the further extended context of our project from Google Earth, as well as learn a little bit about the past development of our site. I hope this video has been helpful for you.